Hi guys, it's Olga Handwein and today I have for you video with jelly plate and some oil and create stamps and stencils. And to create that, I was strongly inspired by Birgit Kopsen tutorial and that I watched some time ago with transfers and I thought that I will make those pieces just to give it a go. In Frankfurt, I was hanging out uh, a lot with Birgit, with Marsha Walk and with Tanya Ahmed and girls are part of Jelly Arts uh, team and they encouraged me to grabbing to grab the you know jelly plate and have some fun um, right now on the screen you can see me trying um, to do my best to have some kind of nice prints I'm printing on daily paper and then I will assemble my background from those prints if you are looking for more info about uh, jelly printing and um, jelly plate in general check out the jelly arts channel and girls profiles everything will be in the description box uh, I just decided to go with it um, because I wanted to do something special for my friends for Fiona and Ida both girls are featured in the video <laughs> on the photos I transferred my friends on top of my backgrounds uh, so I thought I will record it for you and I will take this opportunity to tell you that if you feel inspired by any other artist and you will make something similar or inspired strongly by their artwork just give them a shout out it's nothing but to get inspiration from other people but it's really bad if you don't give them a credit so always give the credit where credit belongs to and with this nice spot <laughs> i will continue with my video so um to be honest i i'm not sure what i'm doing here i'm just uh, applying my paint on my jelly plates and i have few of them because those are leftovers after uh, one of <clears throat> the classes uh, so my plates are damaged on one side at least <laughs> on one side um, and I just kept them as my stamping tool so I was spreading the paint on uh, the plates and then I was stamping I never actually played with them like that before and I'm really happy with my outcome normally I'm not grabbing for the really um, bold colors i don't do a lot of colorful stuff but i really enjoyed the process i really enjoyed the pieces and my friends were really happy with them so i thought that i will share that one with you uh, a few seconds ago you could see on the screen all the prints that i was able to make uh, with oil and create stencils um, most of them are from last release i will try to link as many of them as i can in the description box uh, in the stores that i can recommend you you will find them also in all and create boutique and i printed everything on uh, deli paper and now i'm just layering my prints uh, on top of two canvases i fixed the edges uh, with black gesso and uh, my canvases have nice thick layer of gesso on top of them as well i'm making two pieces um, whole uh, artwork has three pieces i didn't finish one with my face on um, in my head the idea of having three pieces with three of us uh, was really cool and right now i'm still in australia that's why my sound might be a little bit off and you might hear weird stuff in the background because girls are teaching the classes and I'm just sitting in a corner uh, hoping that uh, something nice will come out from this uh, voiceover. I prepared my uh, backgrounds uh, a little bit chaotic. I just used the prints that I liked and I just thought that they came together really nicely. So for transfer, Birgit used um, matte medium i will use uh, glossy liquid 30 knots gel medium and i wanted faces to stand out a little bit more so i painted them with thin coat of uh, white gesso and i blend the edges and then i just use gel medium to transfer my images 
And to have really good transfer, you need laser print uh, pictures and uh, some sticky medium that will help you with transferring the ink uh, into actual artwork. A uh, few things that you have to remember about. First of all, trim all the, all the access of the background that you will not use. Second of all, uh, you need to um, get rid of all the access of your gel medium uh, from underneath your picture. And I'm wiping off all the access on the old towel. And I'm trying not to mess my transfer too much. When it's uh, dry and I left it for natural dry, I didn't use heat gun or any uh, anything like that. Um, I am able to remove all the paper and all the ink from uh, laser print will stay on my artwork. All the edges uh, you can work out with your fingers or uh, like I will be doing in one second with really rough surface of the kitchen sponge. I found out that um, when you wrap your fresh transfer uh, a little bit uh, too much, you start to remove ink as well. And uh, I use this uh, disadvantage <laughs> as my advantage <laughs> to blend in the uh, transfer into my background. Uh, in Ida's transfer, I could end up uh, just with transferring her face, but with transfer uh, of Fiona picture, we have a baby on the picture. And I really like the picture of Fiona. She's smiling and her eyes are just popping on this picture. Uh, so I sealed both of my uh, artworks with liquid medium to make them nice and glossy. Yeah, so we have to cover the baby on Fiona's piece. Uh, so I decided to go with the wire twisted around twine to add some interest and some dimension to quite flat piece because uh, it would be too much for me to make a colorful piece that it's also flat. I like dimensional pieces and uh, I'm mostly uh, sticking to my earthy tones uh, with maybe pop of one color. So here, just leaving it as it is, flat and colorful, it would be too much. <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> so for Ida, I didn't have to cover anything, but I wanted those pieces to go nicely together and that you will see that they are meant to be a set. Uh, so I'm popping those jewelry elements um, that will hold my sentiments and to add some interest in the background i'm using dinner weekly sentiments they are also made on something like deli paper so my background will disappear really nicely with my glossy finish and to stick them on i'm using mod podge and it's a liquid resin that will also fill those jewelry pieces so they will be nice and shiny and everything at least in my head, will come nicely together. It doesn't matter what those sentiments say because I just cut them for pieces. You might want to use some stamps instead of that, but then you need stazen and unfortunately I ran out from the stazen ink. So uh, I was trying just to, you know, do my best with the stuff that I have. Uh, and I'm trying to repeat the background colors that are mostly oranges and teals. So in my uh, metal frames, I used uh, yellows, browns, and reds. Then I just added some um, sentiments from Tim Holt's uh, sticker set. Uh, and when they were ready, I just poured the Mod Podge on top of it. Uh, to frame up my pieces, I used uh, some frames that I got from Dollar Store and they had really nice white uh, passepartout inside them. Uh, so to add uh, some entrance to that and to make sure that everything comes nicely together, I just stamped some uh, orange create stamps uh, on the frame. Uh, 
and I use Fiona designs and uh, actually when I was preparing those uh, those two canvases those stamps weren't available yet now they are available in a lot of stores um, I don't know if I mentioned I'm still in Australia and stores just started to receiving uh, on and create stash so uh, I'm sure that they are uh, available for you to purchase and I love those flowers they are messy mixed media flowers but you can make them also uh, nice and cute you can color them in you can make some paper piecing mm, I use them here just to decorate my frames because uh, I thought that they will just match perfectly to the thread and to everything and I'm really happy with general outcome of my artwork so that will be it for today I will leave you with some pictures thank you so much for your attention have a nice and creative day check out the links in the video description and my good thought for today is give your credit when credit belongs to and I asked Birgit um, for the permission to use her techniques in my video um, and every time when you want to do something similar with any other artist ask for the permission and give them a credit because that's how we make our community grow with, in a really nice way okay so thanks for that see you soon bye